We're taking you live to Maine, where authorities are speaking on the manhunt for suspected gunman Robert we Card. We had uh, a list for people that had been identified and family members that had been notified. It's also a separate list that involved uh, family advocacy and whether or not they had been plugged into that. So the reality here is that all 18 of those victims, everybody that we listed here today, everybody has been identified and their families have been notified. So we were in contact with them. I would expect some more information uh, later tonight, and um, I'll definitely talk about it tomorrow morning at 10, uh, reference to uh, Family Information Center, a new location, and some material around that, exactly what services will be available uh, at that particular time. But I definitely wanted to make sure that I correct uh, that mistake uh, from earlier. So several other updates um, from uh, this morning's briefing. I know that uh, Shannon has sent along the aerial maps uh, that we showed uh, or tried to show here on the board, uh, so you have received those. Uh, I also think that we had, uh, and Shannon has corrected this as well, but the, the Jeb Scott boat ramp, the proper name there was the Paper Mills Trail and Miller Park Boat Launch. The address was correct at 501 Lisbon Street. The jump scot is a little bit further down uh, the river, apparently, and we certainly like uh, and appreciate everybody uh, working with us to make sure that we had the, the proper location, the proper terminology uh, for that. Uh, and other additional uh, updates, the boat launch search uh, of the river, the Androscoggin, they're still out there uh, right now, and they'll be there as long as they can uh, based on the light. Uh, and as we mentioned earlier, we're talking about sonars and grid searches and things of that nature. That's time intensive. It's taken them a while to work through there. They want to make sure they do it right. Um, so we're not going to finish that search this evening. I would be surprised if you ever saw divers in the water overall. Uh, but tomorrow we'll have additional dive resources available to us uh, from out of state as well as some additional in-state teams. Um, so again, we'll discuss that a little bit at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, but no surprises. We expect that to go over and uh, that we'll have some assets there tomorrow. They did a bunch of flyovers this morning, as I mentioned. They did the sonar searches, some side, some ROV, uh, and uh, we'll be back on that tomorrow. The, the bar scene itself, um, they continue to do uh, their uh, on-scene investigation there as well as at the bowling alley. Uh, they did check those wood lines. Uh, they may be back in there tomorrow as well, uh, but that is progressing as expected. And I think uh, another major piece uh, of updates uh, for you uh, now is to talk about the shelter in place order and where that's going uh, effective immediately. Uh, and I'm, I'm not a big reader of orders, but I think this is important that you hear this directly from um, a couple different sources. We're going to put out a release. There's going to be a cell phone. Uh, geofence release to some folks. Uh, we've used that a couple times already uh, during the active shooter as a warning and otherwise. But the shelter in place order is rescinded, except hunting is prohibited in the towns of Lewiston, Lisbon, Bowdoin, and Monmouth beginning Saturday, 10 28 24, until further notice. The state police continue to search in Lewiston, Lisbon, Bowdoin, and Monmouth for the suspect, Robert Card, and recommend individuals remain vigilant. Businesses may choose to open or remain closed. Uh, Commissioner Camuso from IFNW is here to help us answer any additional questions about that hunting piece. Um, it was asked this morning, uh, and it was a good question, and I told you at that time that we were working on an answer for that. Uh, and what that means is that uh, the general shelter in place has been rescinded. Specifically, hunting, again, is prohibited in those four towns and those four towns only. And it's important that I mention that because the rest of the state is allowed to continue with their resident only day uh, on Saturday, tomorrow. And what does that mean? That means that there are going to be communities that hear gunshots from time to time because they're going to be hunting. Um, so we would ask everybody to use caution in that and not think that every one of those gunshots is directly uh, regarding this particular crisis situation, this investigation. So clearly, if they think if they're suspicious, if they're concerned, they can certainly call their local agencies. But I would ask them to think about that, where they're located, um, when do they hear that, if they're 150 miles north, do they need to call their 911 center and, and create a response? Um, and I think I would say no to that, unless they have another set of facts, a fact pattern that would believe them that there's a direct connection between that gunfire and what they've heard uh, to this point. 
So we had mentioned why we made that decision initially because of the crisis and the situation that we had. Uh, those four towns in, in particular, clearly with Lewiston uh, and the two uh, tragic situations here, the two locations we've already talked about. Uh, and then you have Lisbon, Lisbon with the boat launch, Bowdoin where the suspect live, and Monmouth, there's other family connections in that particular area as well. So this is not to say um, that uh, the crisis is over, the emergency is done, uh, we can go about our lives as life is good. We want our folks, we want our residents to remain vigilant and to pay attention to what we, what we share for information. I again focus on what we share is in the Department of Public Safety in the city of Lewiston, uh, because we continue to see a lot of information from a lot of different places uh, that is far from accurate. I would also say in that regard, um, when we say that we're going to meet you here at 10, we're going to meet you here at 10, and when we say we're going to notify you, we are going to notify you in the afternoon if we're going to get together and what time that is. Um, I just encourage you to, to believe that until I prove you wrong, uh, and I won't. Uh, and I say that because we've heard some other stuff. There's going to be a press conference at 1 o'clock, um, and then our PIO, who's incredibly busy, gets 100 emails and says, is it going to be 1 o'clock or is it going to be this? Uh, and you've got a job to do. I get it. And we're trying to help you do your job. And if you could help us do our job, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated.